podcast by SJSU Athletics. Each week we'll take a look at the men's and women's basketball teams and preview the week ahead. I'm Justin Legray, I'll be your host, and today we'll start out with the women's team who is preparing to take on the Broncos of Santa Clara this week, Saturday at 5 p.m. Here's head coach Tim Lacoste. Yeah, Northridge, we started out strong and then um, uh, faded in the second half. We didn't close the first half as strong as we'd like, and then uh, Northridge played really well in the second half, and their size was a big difference in the game. Is it a little difficult? I mean, you only played three home games this season. That's, that's a little tough schedule to start out the year. Yeah, we've been on the road a lot, played a lot of good teams. Um, our last home game, we beat uh, a good Northern Arizona team. We scored 50 points in the second half. It was our best half of offensive basketball. And, we followed that up with a, uh, a road game at Weber State, and uh, first half another another strong performance. So we had our best win, go on the road, and we were up 18, could have been up 20 at half, and then um, uh, just too inconsistent. And um, you know, again, Weber State, to their credit, uh, uh, deserved to win. They hit a lot of shots in the second half and and uh, beat us. So we're a couple baskets away from three wins. If we could um, put a couple halves together, I think we can get some. Uh, consistent W's. Right, and you're talking about just being close to a few wins. It's it's really a process though. When you take over a new coaching job like you have, you have to kind of go through the ebbs and flows of learning the new team. And Are, are you feeling like you're kind of there now? You, you kind of know the system that you want to run with these girls and, and you know what you want to do with this team? Yeah, it's taken some time. Like I said, it is a process. We're not as far along as we'd like to be in mid-December, but we're heading the right direction. The teams get to know each other, what they do well, and playing uh, better basketball together, and I think we'll see that on the floor. And right now, we're really trying to uh, prepare ourselves for conference play. So we've got a couple more weeks to uh, put that all together and have some quality opponents coming up that will show us what our strengths are and weaknesses and what we need to work on going into the whack play. And you have had a little bit of a break just because for, for the finals. Have you been able to step back and kind of evaluate what are your strengths and weaknesses? Well, we just got back uh, this weekend, and um, we gave the players a couple days off to focus on finals. We had our uh, first practice yesterday on Monday. Um, you know, finals week of practice, we try to keep really short and sweet, and it was a good practice. Uh, the energy was good, the focus was good, and I think the team's feeling good about themselves, both and what they're doing academically, their improvement on the court, and then um, we'll play next door, uh, Santa Clara, and that'll be a good test for us. We're kind of treating that as uh, final exam for us to see where we're at. So a lot of study sessions on the court this week, um, acing some finals, and hopefully we'll do the same thing on the court at Santa Clara. So everything's good academically? That's the most important thing. Yeah, we got a bright group. I mean, they, they are um, uh, highly intelligent, um, you know, they're very coachable, they're responding well, and so I, I'm pleased with what they're doing in the classroom and on the court. One thing that kind of stands out to me, I don't know if you would agree, is, is a little bit of the, uh, the bench and, and the depth of this team it has been an issue early on in the season. Would you agree? Yeah, the, um, uh, the bench has been short for a number of reasons. We've had some injuries, some illnesses, um, you know, concussions. So hopefully we get everybody healthy here, um, you know, going into this stretch before conference play. And, and again, with that break off, you could go one of two ways. You obviously want to take a step forward, but there is also that other option where you could take a step back, but you feel like you're taking a step forward here? Yeah, yeah, we're taking advantage of the opportunities that we have. Brittany Johnson's a great example. She's had to play more minutes because of a shorter bench, and she's really excelled. Um, she was WAC Player of the Week. Um, she's had uh, double-digit scoring, I think, in every game. Yeah. Uh, she's averaging close to 20 points, 10 rebounds, which you know are All-American type of numbers, so she's really responded well, great effort. Um, you know, she's... she's uh, been a leader for us on and off the court. Um, Sarah's had some dynamite games, and she's getting more consistent. You know, so we have a good one-two punch with uh, both Brittany and Sarah. And then Terea, our freshman, probably the best athlete on the team, uh, just came off a career high. So she's starting to figure out, you know, how to use her athleticism. Um, and it goes on down the line. Each player is, is getting better individually, and that will make our team better. And it's all about getting ready for the WAC play right now. Uh, Sarah, you, you mentioned uh, she's one of the better scorers on the team. She, she's really the only three-point threat that you have. Are you trying to develop another three-point shooter? Yeah, we work on it every day. We want every player on the floor to be able to score inside and out. Mm -hmm. um, Sarah's just really excelled at that, so we're trying to find ways to get her shots. And then uh, other players, Rachel um, just had her uh, best half at Northridge. She scored double digits in the first half. You know, so she's uh, playing the point for us. She's making good decisions passing-wise. Now she's hitting the open shot. 
Mai's had some great practices. She's capable of double doubles, Maisha, and um, you know we're looking for her to break out too. So that's our starting five. We got all five out there that are threats. That's going to make it easier for Brittany and Sarah to get theirs. Teresa is now a threat. Rachel and Mai coming on, and uh, the bench is getting better. So they're heading the right direction. All right, this weekend, uh, crosstown rival the Broncos. What can you expect from them? From what I've seen, they're playing really well. I know Coach uh, uh, Mountain does a great job, and her staff getting the team ready. They can shoot the ball, they can run. They're a good defensive team, good balance. Uh, that's why they're having the success. So it'll be a big test for us. Uh, I think defensively is going to be a big key. I think that's been the key for us all along. The better our defense is, the better our offense is. Uh, so we're focusing on that this week. They have some pretty physical bigs down low, don't they? Yeah, they got a good inside outside. They shoot the three well. They move the ball well. Uh, they'll be a tough challenge. All right, uh, thanks again for joining us, and we'll uh, talk to you in the coming weeks. Yeah, I look forward to it. Uh, we'll be back home, uh, hopefully uh, continue our home game win streak uh, next uh, Monday with Air Force. And so come on out, Santa Clara, and we'll see uh, hopefully Spartan fans here next Monday. All right, thank you. All right, so you have a little bit of time off for really the first time since the season started. Does that give you a little bit of a chance to evaluate the team? Oh, there's no question, Justin. I mean, we're, we, we've spent an enormous amount. We always watch film as a staff, but we've spent a lot of time together evaluating, analyzing, breaking things down. Look, we need to get better. There's no secret. We're, we're not off to the start we hope to be off to. But as coaches, you always are looking at well, what do we need to do to improve? How do we get to the place we want to get? And you, you have to have windows of opportunity like we're having right now. Now clearly our guys are in the finals too, so there, there's some issues at the outset of the week. But as the week proceeds, our guys are finishing finals up, and we can spend a lot more time with them, and we, you know, and that will help us improve our, our product. No question. Now after finals, do you allow the the players to kind of get a little more involved in terms of what they do preparation for games and, and what they do in practices? There's no question we can do, demand more from our guys whenever we're outside of. Regular schedule of classes. Uh, we have some real and I think reasonable restrictions and limits when, when classes are in session. But when classes are not in session, those limits are removed, and and we're never going to be abusive in terms of the time that we ask from our guys. But we ask more from them during those periods of, of the season, and it's really important time for a team to take big strides. Um, we we not only have to look to improve individual. We need to retool some things, and you need time to retool. And this time is going to be real valuable for us. So nine days off, and, and you have UC Davis coming up. Uh, what can you expect from the Aggies? I mean, uh, so their squad coming here, and before you head out for a good amount of time on the road. Yeah, we, we need to leverage our last home game for a while because, that, you, as you point out, after that, I think we play six in a row uh, away from home, and then have a couple at home, then more on the road. So we're about to hit a big road stretch, uh, and so we are. But you know, to be honest with you, we're not really thinking about that. Uh, we're aware of it. We, we always have our eye somewhat on the future, but we, we, we're very focused on the day-to-day -day operation. We haven't begun our Davis preparations yet. It's too soon to begin to prepare for Davis. Uh, we know they'll be a good team. We know about them. We're, we're, uh, one of our staff members who was the lead scout on Davis is already watching their film and breaking it down. When we get to the end of the week, we'll all get involved with that process. But right now, we're really just about the Spartans and what the Spartans need to be doing better. One thing I noticed, uh, I know you said you're not really preparing for UC Davis, but I noticed that they throw a lot of different lineups out like you have, and partially the team that has had injuries and things like that, but how does that affect the team and, and the way you go about making the starting lineup? Well, you know, the, there are some difficult challenges when you're, when you're not playing up to the level you want and you're getting complications like injuries. It, it's hard to really come up with the exact template that you want, so you're always the, taking the next best scenario. What, what, what's the, what gives us the best opportunity to succeed? And, and look, it isn't science. I know people think these things are easy to do, but they're not. And you're, you're projecting now uh, player A who hasn't played that much. Well, if you put him in a, a, give him more of a playing role, is he going to produce? And there's all sorts of questions like that. And then there's also the questions of interactivity. How do guys blend together? Uh, for example, with us, losing Calvin is a big blow. Not just statistically. Calvin can do some things. He is what a consummate glue guy coaches talk about movements. There's someone who makes the rest of the team better by his movement, his understanding of spacing, his understanding of the system, his commitment to doing the little things right. Well, that's a big piece to have out. Davis has faced the same sort of struggles. And I think you generally see that with teams that are playing playing below where they think they should. It's almost always injury related or related to 
one or two players are just not playing to the level that everyone should reasonably expect them to. And then coaches got to get in there and work with them to get them better so they can get to that level. And with Calvin, you, you expect him to play against Davis? I, I would say the chances are good, but Scott makes that call, I don't. So we'll, we'll wait for Scotty to make that call. He's working with him. Again, there's Calvin. He's doing the extra things necessary to rehab that injury as opposed to just doing what's asked. He's looking for more opportunities to rehab and get better because he's anxious to get back on the court. Okay. That's it for this week's episode. Thanks for tuning in. Again, the women's team plays on Saturday at 5 p.m. at the home of the Broncos of Santa Clara. The next men's game will be on Tuesday the 20th starting at 7 o'clock and they play the UC Davis Aggies. Thanks for tuning in and be sure to check us out every Tuesday at 5 p.m. on the San Jose State Athletics site.